Good morning, brothers and sisters. In Revelation 21, verse 9, it says, Come here, and I will show you the bride, the Lamb's wife. The church is the bride, and Christ is the bridegroom. It is interesting because while Israel and the church are distinct and separate, some things still connect the two. One picture that can really help us to understand what the Bible is referring to in this instance is the story of a Jewish bride. If a young Jewish man wanted to get married, he would first look around in his own hometown for a suitable bride. If he could not find one, he would leave his hometown and travel to another town or village. He would keep looking until finally he found the right bride. Then he would go to the father of the bride and make a covenant or a contract with him. He would say, here's what I will give you for your daughter as a bride. I will pay for her, I will buy her from you, and they would seal the deal by drinking a cup of wine. The girl would then go back to her father's house and prepare herself because it was her obligation to be ready when the groom came to come and get her. The groom would go and build a house for his new bride right alongside his father's house. When the new house was completed, the groom would leave his house and go back to the bride's village. He would usually arrive at night and would give a shout to her, ready. Without any warning, when the bride heard the shout, she would come out immediately. She wouldn't say, hey, give me another week or give me another month. No, her job, her hope and her joy was to be ready when he came to get her. They would then leave together and go back to his father's house where for the next seven days there would be a wedding ceremony. The bride and the groom would be hidden away in the father's house. And at the end of those seven days, they would come out and reveal themselves to the people that were waiting. Do you see the pattern? Christ is going to come. He's going to shout, ready. Our joy and hope is to be pulled off this earth to go with Jesus to the father's house. For seven years, we will be in the father's house while the tribulation is raging here on earth. At the end of the seven years, the Bible says we will come back to earth from heaven at the battle of Armageddon and watch Jesus defeat the nations in the valley of Megiddo. There's also a wonderful picture of the bride and bridegroom expressed in other characters throughout the Bible. Someone has said there are over a hundred parallels between Jesus and Joseph. Joseph wasn't sinless, only Jesus was, but he had so few that none were recorded in the Bible. He is a great picture of Jesus in so many ways. He was loved by his father, hated by his brothers, but one of the most unique parallels is found in Genesis chapter 41, where it says that Joseph knew from Pharaoh's dream that a famine was coming, a seven-year famine. Before the seven years of famine ever occurred, Joseph picked out and married a Gentile bride. What a wonderful picture of Jesus Christ because he is going to take home his Gentile bride, the church, the believers in Jesus Christ, before the seven years of famine and tribulation ever begin.